Hi everyone! Clothes dryers have a pretty bad rap in the environmental community, and for a good reason. They use quite a bit of energy, which is not surprising considering that they need to spin and produce heat. And all of this energy use can be avoided by just, well, not using the dryer and using a washing line instead. But some people like the convenience and time saving that the dryers provide. In this video we'll find out how much energy clothes dryers use exactly, so that we can make an informed decision of whether saving that energy is worth a little bit of our time and convenience. Let's do this. On average, clothes dryers account for about 7% of household energy use. But it all varies quite a lot from family to family. How much energy your dryer uses will depend on mainly three factors. The size of the dryer, its energy efficiency, and how much laundry you do. Let's look at an example. Say you have a medium-sized dryer and you do five loads of laundry a week, which is how many loads an average family does. Here is how much energy you will approximately use every year, depending on whether your dryer is of high, medium or low energy efficiency. So between 700 and 1700 kilowatt hours a year. In case these numbers mean nothing to you, let's compare them to something we already know from a previous video. The energy use of a washing machine using hot washing cycle, which is when it uses the most energy. This is the annual energy use for a 6 kg capacity washing machine and doing 5 loads of laundry a week. Same as for the dryer. It uses much less energy, especially with more energy efficient models. The good thing about the dryer, though, is that you can save all this energy by not using it. These energy savings also mean that you will save half a ton of CO2 emissions a year with an efficient dryer and 1.2 tons with an inefficient dryer. This is equivalent to the greenhouse gas emissions from driving a car for almost 2000 km and 5000 km respectively. Now, there is another benefit of teaching a dryer, and that is saving money, since all this energy costs something. You can calculate your savings by multiplying the price that you pay for 1 kilowatt hour of electricity by the amount of energy that you save. I will use the world average price of electricity, which is 15 cents per kilowatt hour. As you can see, we can save about $100 a year if we ditch an energy efficient dryer and $260 if we ditch an inefficient one. So what if your dryer is smaller or larger than in this example? Don't worry, I've got you covered. Here is an example for a smaller dryer of 4 kg capacity. And here is an example for a larger dryer of 8 kg capacity. And finally, if you do more than 5 loads of laundry a week, or less, you can calculate your savings by dividing all these numbers here by 5 and multiplying by your number of loads. Now, I cannot decide for you whether these energy and money savings are worth the time and convenience that the dryer may provide. But if you've always used a dryer, you won't even know it yourself until you try. So I encourage you to just try air drying your clothes for a bit. You may not even mind it that much, especially if you make it into a habit. And some people consider it quite meditative and actually enjoy the process. Let's hope you're one of those people. Plus, you get some exercise and we all need more of that. Okay, this is it for today. Thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, remember to click the like button. This way I know that you like this kind of videos and I should make more of them. See you next time. Bye!